So here's the crazy thing. If I was the type of person that believed in love at first sight, I would have said that at first virtual sight, I loved Asher and he loved me, but I considered myself to be the kind of person that did not believe that. Therefore, the magnetism I felt towards Asher when I met him made me suspicious. I didn't like it. I felt uncomfortable with it. Who is this man on the other side of the globe that's going to walk into my life and make me like him? I said, God, if this is not of you, you better take this away right away because I am not about to get distracted. Fast forward a year and a half later and a whole lot of storyline between then and now. And here's a video of me walking through a resort in Thailand where I flew over 5,000 miles to meet the man I thought of my dreams, but I didn't even know because God said to trust him and follow him one step at a time and to treat our relationship like Abraham and Isaac. I didn't know if I was going to Thailand to marry the man in my dreams or to walk away from him. We didn't know until we both received confirmation from God. And the day that we receive confirmation is the day that he proposed. This is a video of us walking through the resort on the way to a surprise dinner where he would very soon after be asking me to marry him. If you hold that way, that, that thing is work. How you hold, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. This is how I was holding it. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do? This way. This is the right angle. <laughs> Not this way. <laughs> okay. This is where the music went.
You do the video. So you can show me. We're gonna be telling you our story because it's crazy, yeah. but it's God. So stay tuned and we're gonna be sharing you our crazy faith journey from Pakistan to the US virtually to in person in Thailand and what happened since then. Yeah.